Welcome to KDR TV, Honorable Sarah Omache. Yes. I got it right? Yes. Thank you very much. The Minister for Health, Kisi County. Yes. We appreciate your time. You. Please, uh, Kenya Diaspora Radio and Television is covering a whole wide area. Actually, we are worldwide. Mm -hmm. There are so many questions we would like to know. Uh, I mean, uh, we would like to ask you because we have got so many people actually who really want to understand how Kisi County is performing in the area of health. So before we ask you the questions, please give your uh, opening remark or greet our viewers. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kibuato, for uh, inviting me over here thank you. that I would address our people. Sure. In relationship to the health sector sure. in Kisi County, I'm very happy to be visiting Minnesota yes. and uh, to be here. And, uh, uh, I would like to say it's quite a privilege. I've observed, I've looked at uh, what you, diaspora, are doing sure. here, the unit you are having, yes. and I'm extremely impressed at uh, the way you are relating as our people from out there. And uh, thank you very much for a very warm welcome. We appreciate that. Yes. So, Honorable Sarah, um, you are a minister for health in Kisi County. Yes. We know there are challenges. Yes. But before you uh, became a minister of, of health, mm -hmm. and right now, yes. can you give us some comparisons that actually tell us what kind of strides have you made? Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. When we came in 2013 yes. and uh, was appointed to the Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. we have made quite uh, strides. I always like to say mm -hmm. that uh, devolution mm -hmm. is the fa best thing that happened in our country, our constitution 2010, mm -hmm. having given us that privilege. Like I talked to the health workers much earlier, mm -hmm. I was saying, well, when we were just one government, uh, we had uh, two ministries of health, uh, public health and we had medical services and uh, if we compare before we would say okay you wanted to go and talk to the minister of health in Nairobi at that time. <laughs> oh yes uh, you wouldn't have the opportunity to do so sure. but right now mm -hmm. if any health worker mm -hmm. had an interest or an issue to see the minister mm -hmm. the doors are open to be able to discuss mm -hmm. about our our sector and we have many many opportunities that we talk together we talk about our uh, opportunities our service to the people and we also share our challenges and uh, we do many activities together like when we have uh, hiv aids days mm -hmm. we are able to ce celebrate the world aids day for example or the nutritional day, mm -hmm. or the family planning day, sure. uh, down at the county. Okay. So you are talking about uh, the strides we are made. Mm -hmm. I want to talk uh, especially about the medical services. Mm -hmm. We want to be happy that uh, we now have more health workers mm -hmm. that have been employed since 2013 to date. Mm -hmm. And especially we did that a lot in 2014. Mm -hmm. And uh, more recently, we have also added more uh, doctors mm -hmm. to our county. I want to explain, like, uh, uh, at the beginning, in the sub-county hospitals. We have nine sub-county hospitals mm -hmm. in uh, 2013-2014. We had one doctor who was having us the superintendent of the hospital and manning all the health facilities mm -hmm. in the sub-county. So as we speak right now, mm -hmm. we now have at least three, four, five uh, doctors in uh, those sub county hospitals. Mm -hmm. I would also like to say that when we talk of sub county hospitals, which we call level four mm -hmm. hospitals, uh, we, we would like to let our people know, so far we have improved four hospitals to a higher standard, not the very standard of a level four that you really want, but they have theaters, for example, mm -hmm. for minor surgeries, for cesarean sections, mm -hmm. 
and uh, so the doctors are able to to be helped with the other medical staff to make sure that emergencies are attended to and that is uh, the four hospitals are uh, the Gesusu uh, the 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 Keumbu hospital we also have the Nyamache and we have the Ogembo Ogembo is the second largest hospital and uh, it is among the two that uh, gained from what we call MES, medical uh, uh, managed equipment, managed equipment service from the national government. So uh, right now, like uh, the Ogembo or Gucha Hospital, it's actually Gucha mm -hmm. uh, Hospital, has quite 